Welcome to this week's edition of Inside Georgia State Basketball. This week, joined by senior Malik Ben-Levy. Malik, obviously a little bit of a tough road trip um, this past week, but I know you guys have been a group that uh, bounces back well. What has it been that when you guys do face a tough loss, you guys are able to come back quick and, and hopefully rebound with a victory? Uh, the biggest thing, we, uh, we just stay together as a team. Like, we win this one and we lose this one. Hey, everybody accept that. So we know we want to bounce back and get things done this weekend with the Alabama schools. So we're going to take care of business this weekend. Um, obviously, as you, you alluded to, Troy comes in here now um, on Wednesday, a team that's given us some problems uh, in the last few, you know, few games, but obviously we were able to win that game down in uh, New Orleans last year. What does the mindset of this team need to be going into this game on Wednesday? Uh, we got to get back to being Georgia State. Uh, I feel like we uh, the last two games we didn't play Georgia State defense, and we weren't moving the ball like we normally do. So we're back at home. We're going to have the crowd. So that's going to pump us up, and we're going to get these two Ws. Obviously, you're one of the team leaders of this team. You, we've talked about that on and off the air. What does your role need to be this week to make sure that the guys, you know, don't ever get too high, don't ever get too low, and obviously after a couple of tough losses, come back with, with that mentality that you just talked about? Uh, I just got to tell the guys to stay focused, man. We know we want to accomplish, and like, we want to, we want to, uh, we want that first seed, so we got to get back to uh, winning, playing defense. So my, my main focus is just keep the guys focused keep our uh, head on at one goal and being uh, number one team in the Sun Belt. All right, talking about you now a little more. Obviously, you know, senior year, um, we've got just over a month left to the regular season. But talk about what it's been, your transformation from a freshman here, um, where you played a lot of games, didn't maybe get as many minutes as, as you'd hope, to now where, you know, as Coach Hunter has talked to you, you're one of the leaders on the court, um, really on and off the court. And, and what has that meant to you just to have the confidence in him and, and everything that's gone along with that? I meant a lot having Coach Hunter be able to trust me as being his captain. Uh, being captain as a junior was uh, very big for me. I mean, I had to grow up. I had to grow up. So me coming in as second year as a captain, uh, I'm teaching the young guys early, like, whenever don't hang your head because I done been through it all. Like, I done seen I done been there the bad days, the good days, and some days going to be better than others. So I tell them boys, man, keep your head up. Everything's going to be all right. The one thing I've noticed um, in, in my years around here, you always have senior classes who are, are generally, you know, guys get along and are tight together. But it seems like you, Devin, and Jeff, kind of the three of you guys, I, I feel like 50 years from now, you all still be sitting around talking Georgia State basketball. What does it mean to have a bond um, that close with those guys? I mean, it's a lot. Those are my brothers, man. I kick with them every day. And, like, we just feel like we're really brothers. That's, that's how it is. I mean, like, in high school, I had the same thing with my seniors. I still talk to them. I feel like. About 30, 40 years, me, Jeff, and Devin still going to be around talking trash to each other. Who was the best shooter? Uh, talk about our Georgia State careers, bragging how like we was the man on campus. Um, before we let you go, obviously, you know, now, as we said, about a month left. Um, what are your goals you, that you and the team really hope to accomplish, um, you know, over this stretch? Um, it's, it's, you know, a few road games, a few home games left um, before, obviously, the important ones occur down in New Orleans. Uh, right now, we're just take, taking it one game at a time. But at the end, we we want to win that Sunbelt tournament, get back to the NCAA tournament. Well, Malik, we appreciate your time this week. Uh, this is Episode 5 of Inside Georgia State Basketball. We'll hope you join us next week as we bring another Panther behind the scenes of Inside Georgia State Basketball.